welcome back to MTN Live in the Mountains. I'm here with, with Mike Hallis. How are you today? Doing fine. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you for being here. He's here to talk to us about the Valley Country Fair. Um, so you've been involved with the Country Fair for about 10 years. That's right. Just a wonderful experience. Here we are in this beautiful mountain valley. We have all the people coming in for the fair. It's really an exciting event. Well, it sounds like it. Um, so you are known for making delicious apple butter, and you brought some of that with you today. We did. <laughs> apple butter is virtually internationally known. Mm -hmm. I've got friends up in Canada who come down and like to buy our apple butter. It is just a tremendous product. And we, we make the uh, apple butter on site mm -hmm. and bottle it up. In fact, on fair day, we'll be cooking down some and we'll be dipping that off and people will be able to come by and buy that. And in cold weather, they really like it because it's hot mm -hmm. when it comes out of the pots and they can warm their mm -hmm. hands up on it. And that's good because you get it fresh. True. Just right at, come to the, you know, country and get some fresh apple butter. And watch delicious. it be made and everything. So With secret ingredients. There's a secret ingredient? Of course, several. <laughs> so what is the process of making apple butter? Like just a we, we start off with applesauce, and we have two 30-gallon copper pots and two 20-gallon copper pots. Mm -hmm. And we'll put the applesauce in the pots, and for the larger pots, it'll take up to 10, 11 hours to boil the applesauce down until it becomes apple butter. It has to be stirred mm -hmm. continually. So we have a group of fellows that stand out there and joke and laugh and have a great time <laughs> together and keep those four pots being stirred continually for the 10 or 11 hours until we can dip it off. Wow, what a job. I bet that keeps them warm when it's cold too. So It is, it's nice. <laughs> All right, well that sounds exciting. So what else can we expect to see at the Valley Country Fair? It's really an extraordinary event. Uh, we have over 150 juried vendors there. Now, by a juried vendor, they have to provide samples of the merchandise to the ladies of the church. And the ladies of the church will say yes or no. And be very careful to make sure that we don't have too much of one type, mm -hmm. not too much pottery, not too much uh, uh, painting, that type of thing. But the number of types of crafts that we have is extraordinary. They're all handmade in the United States. There's no stuff imported from China that, that's at the, at the mm -hmm. Valley Country Fair. Uh, very unique, very high quality, and we will have paintings, we'll have drawings. We even have one man who makes his own canoes, have handmade canoes and paddles there. All kinds of ironwork, sculptor work, there's jewelry, there's uh, photography. Just all the arts and crafts and a lot of the embroidery and the, the type of craft uh, mm -hmm. clothing involved in that you'll find there. So it's an amazing variety. People come and do their Christmas shopping there. I bet they do and that's a great, there's something there for everyone and it it's is. a lot of things you might stumble upon that you didn't even know you was around and you might find something new to decorate your house with or Exactly. Or for the small kids they've got these little pop guns and oh, things yeah, that are, are made out of wood <laughs> that'll pop out make a little noise and that. And uh, we also have quite a bit of entertainment there. Mm -hmm. There is continual music going on a large stage. Mm -hmm. And right behind the stage is a very large tent with tables and chairs. And then the food available is all around that. So you can go ahead, get some food, sit down, and enjoy the entertainment either uh, while you eat or there's some chairs set up there also for people who just want to listen to the music. The music is good country music. It's bluegrass, it's gospel. It's just fantastic. Just performer after performer after performer will come up. We also have a lower stage and that's primarily for children. Mm -hmm. And we'll have magicians and entertainers down there. We'll have clogging groups come out. They do the clogging and not far from there, uh, we'll have some animals that are special. We'll have llamas and alpacas and some special goats and that so the kids can be down there and see the animals, can touch them, as well as buy some of the clothing that is made from mm -hmm. these particular animals. Alpaca for or, um, the things that they make out of uh, that is so soft and Warm. just beautiful. And I, uh, yes. I had the chance to meet um, 
a lady who did that and she had her alpaca with her and it was just like oh my goodness it was beautiful you know it's a really beautiful you know i of course i love all animals so sure. but um that that material is just so wonderfully soft it, it's very special it's mm -hmm. nice you just go up to feel the mm -hmm. material that's Absolutely. right so um so what kind of uh, food can we expect that's oh, that's wow. what i like food. <laughs> that's part of the highlights on site they make apple cider and you can watch them. They've got this big barrel there, mm -hmm. crank this handle with apples in it, and the cider comes out the bottom, and you can buy fresh apple cider there. Uh, there's Brunswick's, too, oh, that is yes. being made there, too. Love it. And it is delicious. And there are probably four pots of Brunswick's, too, uh, going at a time, and people come in and get that. Uh, there's the typical fare items you can buy. There's bratwurst sandwiches. Uh, there's... Uh, uh, Corn of various types, uh, kettle corn. Mm -hmm. That's the term I was trying to think of. <laughs> and just a wide, wide variety of food. Now, I'm involved with the apple butter portion. And so we're making apple butter on site. And you can see these people stirring yeah. these great big kettles. And then you can watch them when it's finally cooked in the, the afternoon. On Saturday afternoon, we'll be dipping it and you can get your own fresh apple that butter. That sounds fantastic. Well, um, tell us a little bit about the sponsors of the, the county fair. Sponsors are primarily two, Church of the Holy Cross. Uh, church of the Holy Cross is a relatively small church, uh, probably 200 families, plus or minus, and they put on this entire event with the help of the co-sponsor, which is the Valley Cruises Conference Center. Now, both the Church of the Holy Cross and the Valley Cruises Conference Center and the land is all owned by the Episcopal Church. And it's the, the, uh, Western, uh, the, the, the Western Diocese of the Episcopal Church. Oh, that's fantastic. What, a, what an awesome team they must have to put on such a grand event. It is. Um, and how long has this event been going on? We are in our 36th wow, year going that's on. that's amazing. And one of the interesting things about it, first started was at an apple barn that is on the property. Mm -hmm. Then we outgrew the apple barn and we're now in this beautiful valley. And something else for the people who may not be in the area, this is the fall of the year. Hopefully it'll be peak color. And we're in this beautiful valley with Clark's Creek running through it. And all around you are these mountains uh, with beautiful color in it. It's just wonderful to to come up this, this way. This is the best way. This is the best, one of my favorite things about fall is all of the fun fall festivals that go on, yes. and especially this sounds especially um, fun because it's like we're showcasing everything that's great about the mountains. It is good it's food, beautiful. good music, um, good handmade crafts, especially and good people and good people. That's I right. love it. <laughs> so where where is the fair this year? It's being held at the uh, same place is going to be at Valley Cruises. Uh, it is about one mile from downtown uh, Valley Cruises on Highway 194. Mm -hmm. And it's about five miles from Banner Elk. Okay. And what, what date is it? I don't know if we saw it. When, when October it 18th. October 18th. That's right. Now It'll that's be from 9 to 4. 9 to 4, October 18th. Right. All right. And that's a Saturday. Is that a Saturday or that's something? Saturday. That's a that's Saturday. That's Saturday. Right. Perfect time. And so that's, that's kind of the same time as the Woolly Worm Festival, but there's it a is. collaboration there. You're right. With You're the, exactly with the right. the county fair. The, the Woolly Worm Festival is held in Banner Elk, and that's a fantastic festival where they actually race woolly worms going upstream. Mm -hmm. And it's primarily for children. It's an exciting event. There's entertainment, food there. It's a great event. And we are located the same day, which is the 18th, only five miles away. So lots of people think that there's competition, but there's not. There's collaboration on us. We bring people to the high country to have a wonderful experience. And they can experience racing woolly worms and banner elk, come to the Valley Country Fair, and experience the, the grandeur of the high country and buy the items at the Valley Country Fair. Well, that's fantastic. You can get two wonderful festivals in one day. And that's right. That just, I mean, and they're not far. So. That's right. I know, is there any admission to the fair, the Valley County Fair? It is absolutely free to come to the mm -hmm. fair, but you do have to pay for parking. Okay. And it's ten dollars for parking per okay. car. And then all the pro profits go to support local charities, right? 
That is absolutely correct. Uh, the first year, some of the prophets went to the church. But every year thereafter, the money, and we're talking tens of thousands of dollars of profit, all goes to charity in Avery County and Watauga County. Well, that is fantastic. What a wonderful um what a wonderful event. You know, like I said, we showcase everything that's wonderful about the mountains, and it also goes to a fantastic cause. So it's something for the community to come and enjoy, and they give back as well. So that exactly. is fantastic. One final point. We do request that there are no pets, no pets. being brought. Okay. Because so many people in such a short area, some pets don't get along with each other. Right. Other pets like to leave little deposits which right. people don't particularly appreciate <laughs> uh, walking through it. So we do ask that they leave their, their pets at home. All right. Well, that sounds good. Well, thank you so much for being here. This sounds like a great event. I would definitely have to go check it out. You are most welcome. We look forward to seeing you. And be sure to stop by and get some apple butter. I sure will. I have to try it. I have not tried apple butter since I've lived up here. Can you believe really that? Pretty. I know. Oh, I hope goodness. they don't kick me out. <laughs> we'll give you some right now. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll be right back after this.